We've made our changes to the reference part and then updated the annex part. And now that the strip has updated, we've got problems here in punch number one and number two and number five. And they're all sketch related problems. And in this area, you can see we've got some slivers left in the strip layout and that'll get taken care of with the new punches. So let's start out uh, with that first punch. So we'll start the strip layout. Or actually, as far as that first round punch, I think we'll just edit the sketch of that one to change location. But let's delete these other two. Number two, and then we'll switch this option to be able to select multiple punches. And then we'll select this punch at the same time and we'll simply throw them in the garbage. And this punch right here, we'll edit the sketch. And let's look at the relations and show only the dangling relations. And we'll delete those. And then we'll delete, remove that out of the way and convert those entities and then change those entities to construction lines and then re-anchor this dimension line to the intersection of those. Now it's fully defined and we validate the sketch and that punch is fixed. And let's apply that and this will remove the cuts that those other punches had made because we're applying the fact that those punches aren't there anymore. And LogoPress 3 quickly rebuilds things. And now we're ready to add, recreate those punches. So let's zoom in right here. And that puts us into sketch mode and we'll draw a rectangle and go to logo press 3 search the punch outline and then window around these entities and connect the lines as stated earlier that won't leave a line and then fillet those two items, right click, and OK, and OK, to complete that punch. Add another punch, creates the punch, zooms us normal to, puts us into a sketch, very fast. And let's zoom in a little bit on this area and start a rectangle. I purposely put this in a little bit off center about like so. I just rough it in off center. Search the punch outline and use our shortcut key, the S key, to select the sketch fillet. Change that to eight thousandths and fillet times four and right click and let's put some punch mismatches in. Let's zoom in a little bit so when we hit enter you can see what's happening. And then another one over here. And enter. And let's drag that up there and dimension from here to here. and another dimension up here. There we are. And now let's draw a construction line. And again, I purposely made it off center because I like to do it this way. Then I can make it vertical easily. And this was 550, I remember from the other punch. 
little graphical issue there. And OK. And then we're ready to apply those two new punches. We could have edited them as well, but sometimes just creating new ones is just as fast. Probably not as fast, but... Okay, let's get out of strip module and update. And we're purposely checking the force computation. Normally we would just hit no and then we'll exit immediately. Show our sketches and then use the logo press 3 command, the filter I should say, to hide the strip layout sketches. And in this case it is also hiding the text sketch. So we'll show that. And you can see that these descriptions are running into one another. So let's edit the text locating sketch. And change this zero degree angle to 70 degrees. And then validate that just so you can see what happens. We certainly don't want that, so we'll edit it again. And then we'll simply drag this line out here and we'll anchor it here, or we could put it wherever we want. Hit OK again, and this still won't give us what we want. As you can see, the descriptions are truncated. So we need to give them more room. Edit the sketch one more time. Let's change this to 90 degrees. And then when we look at the relations, you can see here there's an equal radius and length relation on this line and this line, the horizontal and vertical lines. So we're going to delete that relation. And that way, we can change this vertical line to whatever we want. So let's make that about two and a half or so. That should be plenty. And hit OK and OK to validate the sketch. And as you can see, that was plenty. We could even make a little bit shorter if we wanted to. So our descriptions are nice now. Now notice also there's some extra points in here and to get rid of those you go up to Options in SolidWorks and to Sketch and uncheck the Display Entity Points and that's why those are showing. But when I'm in doing sketches I prefer to have those shown. And here's our information note having been updated. Lots of good information in it. And let's take a look at this area. There's that angle that we wanted. Now the mismatch, you can see it's not cutting into the part. So let's show you that option. Select that punch. And then notice we prefer not to have this. We, we prefer to have this deactivated, but I want to show you in this case if I check it like this and apply what's going to happen. But it adds extra features to the annex part and creates extra overhead. We think you're better off adding the mismatches at the reference part level. And then just create your punch sketches to match those mismatches. But again, you could do it here as well, but it's more for advanced users. And there the mismatches appear. So let's hit OK and update the forces, etc. And there you can see our new updates and the nice mismatch. And if we zoom in over here, it's actually cutting the mismatch through this portion of the part as well when it's bent. Thank you very much.